what is up YouTube it is Nash here and I'm gonna make this brand new video a news video I have not done a news video yet and I want to see how it does on my channel if it's good or bad if it's good I'll keep doing them if it's bad I won't and so the first news that we have today is No Man's Sky PlayStation they um, Hello Games and PlayStation have come to an agreement that No Man's Sky the new game that's coming out next month about space exploration and stuff is so big because of their formula it's gonna have like a lot of planets that more you can more than you can even count and so yeah that game how big it is they have said that it's so big that there's not gonna be a lot of player interaction so they're taking it from being a multiplayer game and making it a single player game because there's not much player interaction so what that means for you guys is that um you don't have to have PS Plus to play No Man's Sky online because it's a single player game, classified as a single player game, not a multiplayer game. But, however, it is confirmed that No Man's Sky will need to be connected to the internet for the discoveries you register to be part of the Universal Atlas, which is a key element in the game to make, like, your own names for animals and stuff. And so, also in other news, um, Xbox One it got a price cut today. The price cut brought it down to... $250, which is, I think, really fair for that console. I bought it back when it was $400. And, yeah, so $250 for the Xbox One. You can still get a $250 bundle with, like, Quantum Break and games like that. And it's they said, Microsoft has said that it's just a summer sale where they're marking the Xbox One on sale, but I believe that it's more than that. That's just, they're marking it down forever because of... The Xbox One S that is coming out on August 2nd, that's a few days from now, and that's going to be 400 bucks for a 2 terabyte version. And with the Xbox One, that's just a 500 gigabyte regular version, which got the price cut to um, $250. And yeah, so I know that the 2 gigabyte version of the Xbox One S is going to be um, $400 at launch, which is pretty good price, especially for 2 gigabytes, um, 4K resolution, all that, all backwards compatible for Xbox One games. And so yeah, in other news, um, Nintendo, they their Pokemon Go scandal thingy, Mojig or whatever, but it happened, and yeah, that. So with Pokemon Go, they um, they had really, really, really high stocks because everyone was buying in on it because Pokemon Go is a really crazy thing now. And so everyone started going in on Pokemon Go, buying stocks. Um, Nintendo stock went really high. It surpassed Sony's, went higher than Sony's stock. And then lately, they um, have realized and Nintendo has released that they haven't been getting a lot of money from Pokemon Go. And the people who bought stocks aren't going to get a lot of money from Pokemon Go. And so now the stock has dropped a lot. Like, they said it was 39% in Japan, which is like $4.7 billion. The stock has dropped. The company is now worth $4.7 billion less than they were a few days ago. And I think that's kind of sad because, like, that's a lot of money. But, yeah, so tomorrow's news, I'm going to be saying the PlayStation Plus games because they're going to be releasing tomorrow. The that and I'm gonna be telling you other news that's happening some youtuber drama and stuff and so what I want you guys to do is hit that like button down below comment down below what you want me to do what games you want me to play um, what news stories if there's any that I missed and subscribe to this channel we post daily videos um, we haven't been posting lately because of I've been gone and now I'm back so yeah we've been now we're gonna post every single day do some news probably if this video gets enough likes and thank you guys so much for watching and catch you guys next time